But I still do the intro yeah, as I usual. Think, I think that that's working for us. So never uh, change a winning team. No, that's right. Are we are we rolling, Oliver? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Cheers. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Bampton Experience. And um, this one is a uh, it's a little bit different different um, because we are no longer publishing these episodes on my personal YouTube channel. Right, we are from now on going to post on the Badminton Experience own YouTube channel. It's huge. Yeah. My name is Anna Santonsen. Your I'm name is Hans Christian Solberg Wissinghus. Your two hosts as always uh, here at the Badminton Experience, a podcast where we big surprise talk about badminton mostly um discuss relevant um topics in the sport talk to different players personalities and um yeah it's it's been great so far how many episodes have we done by now i don't know 14 15 oh, something like that 17 17, 17 18 yeah. something like that yeah. a so, lot. so it's also about time we get our own channel yeah it is but th- this was our plan from the beginning right mm. we said that let's try to do 15 20 episodes on mm. my channel let's see if people like it or not and then we can make our own channel and yeah yeah and the feedback has been great but we still need even more feedback yeah i'd say so Always. just please keep it coming uh, hopefully we can uh, up it a notch now we have our own channel but yeah we will just try and keep improving all the time and soon hans christian will go full time on this project so when i retire in three four <laughs> years <laughs> so it's going to be it's going to be amazing we just yeah go ahead just remember also to go follow our instagram because mm, we was also was about yeah, to say we also just uh, made that one public so the badminton experience on instagram we will post uh, lots of uh, small videos pictures and the uh, yeah cool content and our content quality control manager oliver babichu is <laughs> in the background he will uh, he will help us uh, create some nice nice content give us some feedback on on the on the logos first of all guys we have we have chosen to go with orange black this uh kind of white color mm-hmm. as our primary color so um yeah i think it's quite cool yeah it looks great it looks great yeah I'm we bi- think at least i'm but, a big yeah. fan of the of the black orange uh, combination so me too and i saw you put it up on your instagram as well where people could vote and it was like 90 percent had a positive yeah, uh, yeah all, almost feel about it. almost uh, about 90 percent people were like i think I, I gave them the two options to choose between yay and nah <laughs> <laughs> and like 90 90 percent was yay so oh, that's so, good that's good yeah it's, it seemed like they they liked it but let us know guys what do you think about uh, what do you think about that? Yeah. So today we are going to talk about um, there's activities again. The Bamton is uh, great. Bamton is back, and right now there is uh, the German Open is being played. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Mülheim. Yeah. And none of the two of us are there, but that's not going to be our main focus. But we will talk about that a bit. My main focus today will be all England. But let's just start with the uh, German Open. Yeah, because we got a lot of questions about why, mostly why you're not there. Mm. But there was also a few asking about me. Uh, but I think it's more urgent to for you to answer because you you were actually in the draw. Uh, yeah. But but pulled out. So people have been wondering if you're injured or sick or yeah. Yeah, what's going on. Yeah, my my phone has been blowing up since <laughs> I withdrew from from the German Open. But the truth is that I actually withdrew like f- two or three weeks ago. So mm. I never. I never really planned to play the tournament, so, <clears throat> and it's basically just because of my priorities is on all England. Mm. So I decided to stay home, practice uh, one week extra, and then show up hopefully in good condition and fresh for the all England. So, if that, it never was the plan, then why did you enter? Yeah, I mean, like, what? Why didn't you pull out before the draw was made? I actually don't know. I think it's. I think it's because of the fact that. In these times, mm. tournaments get cancelled all the time. So, I think my plan, together with the coach, was just let let me just um, enter all the tournaments. If suddenly something happened and like all England mm. uh, should should be um, cancelled or something, then I could say okay, then I I'm going to play German Open instead. But 
yeah, if if everything went aco- according to plan, I was never going to play the German Open. Mm. So, what about you? That's another good reason why we should not have the draws made already three weeks before the events. Like, if mm. we just made the draw a few days before, then this wouldn't happen. That there will be a yeah a stronger uh, mm. section of the draw compared to the others. Yeah, I have I've actually made kind of the same plan uh, with with Kenneth uh, I've also entered basically all tournaments also the ones in Korea that are coming up but I don't intend to play uh, I'm only entered in in case of something happening with the other tournaments yeah. uh, getting cancelled so it was the same with German Open I just yeah decided right before the draw was made that I was going to pull out okay um, and it's just to focus even more on all England I felt like I had an idea that uh, German Open was going to be really strong, uh, and of course, when I saw the MQ list, you could see that as well that mm. everyone was going to yeah, be there. Yeah, all the best players in the world is is attending. Yeah, so except for us too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, if I did really well there, uh, I would have to beat a lot of great players, and I knew that that was going to take a toll on my body. Mm. Then I would not go into All England feeling great physically. Oh. If I didn't play so well, I just didn't feel like traveling for a couple of days and yeah, getting out of the rhythm would be the best way to prepare for All England. So it's basically also for me to prepare better for All England. But the real truth is actually that we had work to do. We had to do this podcast and stuff, That's so true. we we couldn't be in Germany. That's true. Unfortunately, no. It's it's a it's actually a shame. I would I would love to play play that tournament. Mm. I I think I've only played it maybe twice. Okay in in my career uh, i played the other one there's there's another one in germany too bitburger yeah, or salo lux open salo lux yeah hilo nowadays right yeah hilo nowadays yeah yeah in in the autumn in o- october i think it is in november yeah. Yeah. i've played this one twice and i and i like the tournament as i remember there there's um a lot of spectators, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. good atmosphere always when you play in germany there's quite good atmosphere yeah um and just when when there is a tournament that close to home, mm. it's uh, it's nice. But um, yeah, I also yeah. think it's a great event. I I have a few good memories. I played a great match against Momota last time uh, it was on yeah. German Open because it's I been cancelled two one. years in a row actually. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I played him in the semi final. Also have one final loss there. So it's actually always been a good tournament for me. Yeah. Uh, did you play um, Momota in the semi-final? Semi-final. And yeah. lost in two or three games? Three games. Three games, yeah. Won the first one close, second one not so close, and the third one I was dead. Yeah, I think yeah. I think I remember yeah. that match. Yeah. That's usually how it goes against Momota for me. So we record <laughs> this episode on Thursday, which means that there is they have been playing a few days now mm-hmm. in um in German in German Open, and there there is already a few like upsets mm. here and there i think uh yesterday kenzo momota lost mm. to his countryman uh, kenta nishimoto and also lo kian you um the the world champion yeah lost to to brian yang yeah that's quite surprising but for us i guess it's not the worst that could happen like you're playing Loki and you in all in the first round I'm yeah. playing Kenta Momota yeah so like I can see both advantages and disadvantages like obviously they won't be going into all England with the best confidence levels but no. I was also sort of hoping that Momota would make it all the way to the final mm. so he could go into all England maybe a little bit fatigued yeah do you think they do you do you think Momota maybe was um thinking about that i mean using german open for like a warm-up tournament and he might didn't want to play five matches the week before all england or do you think that he just tried his best and then ended up losing i would think that he's trying his best especially in the first match Mm -hmm. i think it's maybe a little like he would probably want a few matches at least under his belt there but i think there's no doubt that all the players that come from asia to german open they are there to prepare for all england i I think it's don't you think that for all players mm, it's yeah. all England that Pro- is the probably, main focus yeah. yeah yeah but I still think when they go on court they're gonna yeah try their best for sure uh, yeah. but yeah I couldn't watch it actually I was looking for uh, I was able on the first day of German Open to watch live streaming on YouTube mm. um, but I think it was taken down yesterday I don't know if it was okay. like an illegal link or something because it, it wasn't there yesterday when I tried to watch it because I actually wanted to watch Momota play and yeah. Shimoto. I had the same experience I, I think I watched a little bit of 
a, a few men's single matches mm. a few days ago. Um, but I wasn't able to find a link uh, yesterday either, mm. which is which is kind of insane <laughs> that <laughs> the is. best players in the world is competing mm. in in a big event uh, in Germany and you're not able to watch it. Yeah. How insane is that? Yeah, it's crazy. There's not gonna be uh, t- yeah television until semi finals day. That's. <laughs> It's That's crazy. absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. It must be hard to sell sponsorships yeah. um, for that tournament when when they get to know that their banners <laughs> and stuff will not be shown yeah. before the semifinals. Yeah, it's only for two days. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's a shame. But it will be interesting to follow the German Open. Yeah, it will throughout all the categories mm. to see if there's um, someone popping out um, doing something unexpected, or if the the favorites will just win it all yeah there's been a few a uh, few surprises outside of the two you just mentioned because mm-hmm. your best friend or almost best friend uh yuta watanabe your mom's <laughs> favorite player <laughs> he also lost actually he uh, did a mixed yeah damn it yuta and he lost to another japanese pair and i just saw on uh, ben beckman one of the content creators from bwf he put it up on his instagram that that was the first time since 2017 they lost to another japanese pair mm. Okay. That's quite impressive. Yeah, good streak. He's also been uh, he's al- also been very impressive for for the last couple of years or, or even more. Ben than Beckman that, or Utah? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Utah, uh, <laughs> but but I guess Ben has also been doing great. I don't know. <clears throat> um, but as as you mentioned in the beginning, this is going to be. I like that I'm looking at my screen like I have something planned <laughs> over here. <laughs> it's absolutely. You should blank. actually show people what it's it is. Absolutely <laughs> blank. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not uh, going to. But I just he's have just Google, on the Google, yeah. <laughs> Google, Google start page. <laughs> if you need I'll, to I'll, look something up, <laughs> yeah. then you're ready. I'll just shut, shut. I'll just shut it down for now. Yeah. Um, I actually have a few notes. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah, I yeah. do. Hans has uh, prepared well for this one. I'm mm. very, very impressed. Mm, um, thanks. But we are going to talk about the All England. We are. Tennis has uh, Wimbledon. Football ha- has the the Champions League. We have all England. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It is um, the most historical event, I would say. Mm. Um, the most prestige. Yeah. One of the biggest tournament. Um, yeah, during the season. Mm. And um, so let's start off with one of the questions we got from uh, a few of the listeners. Okay. Would you prefer to win the World Championships or the All England? Which one is more prestigious for you? I would still say... It's a classic question, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's a classic question. <laughs> um, and not not every player agrees on this one. Mm. Um, someone sees the All England as being bigger than, than the World Championships. I would personally still win the, the World Championships over the All England, mm. I would say. I'm the opposite, actually. You are? Yeah, I've always preferred All England for some reason. Like, of course, I would like to win the World Championships as well. Mm. But for me, it's always been more special. Like, I, And I have, I get that feeling as soon as I enter the arena for mm. All England. I, I feel it's more special than when I enter a World Championship arena. Mm. I think maybe it has something to do with the fact that it has this history that it's been played and i know it's not been that arena always but for me it's always been in that arena mm. whereas the world championships is always in different places i think it's it doesn't always give the same vibe in every arena no there, there's definitely some, some something special something more classy about the all mm. england um that you don't experience at any other tournament i think it's not the same but i think the japan open also have some kind of class mm. to it mm. Um, I'm yeah, I, I'm not able to to tell exactly why, but but no, I agree. I mean, the just just the arena, the setup, um, everything about it mm. is it, just a little bit more classy than mm. all the other events. Mm. So um, I also always feel like all England, that like the level of play is always some of the best. Like because every player goes there in the best possible shape. Everyone is prioritizing it really. Mm highly yeah and i also feel like the conditions are like not that difficult to play in like it's a little bit slow there's not too much wind there's maybe a a, yeah a little bit but 
it's not one of the most difficult arenas to play in when you tried to play there for yeah a couple of a uh, couple of times. I think so, I think it it has changed a little bit. Mm. The first few years that I played over there, I th- I felt that it was uh, the, the the shuttles were very slow. Mm. But I think it and and not really a lot of drift. Mm. But I think the last few years the shuttles has been like normal, mm. um, not very fast, not very slow, but uh, they had a good speed and um, and there's also been a little bit drift, mm. um, quite a lot actually. I remember my match, my semi final last year against uh, Victor Axelsen. Mm. Um, yeah, that was a great match. It was a great match, one of my favorite matches that I've ever played, but. There, the the drift made a big impact on on the game. Okay. So um, I don't know if if, if it has <laughs> changed a little bit over no, the years. No, I haven't played that many matches the last couple of years actually, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, but I did get, did I get two last year? I think I did. Yeah, I beat Mister Silverman in the first mm. round and then lost to Lee Shijia. Mm. He was playing pretty well last year. He had a good tournament. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he he ended up winning it all. Yeah. He, Defeating both Victor and Momota in, in the same tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Momota's comeback tournament, um, but uh, but still. I was actually watching that one last night, uh, as because I'm playing Momota in the first round. Okay, so, so you're trying to figure out what to do. Exactly, I, I'm gonna play him. exactly like Li Shijia did in the old. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got a, a lot idea. of uh, like uh, video sequences where uh, yes, our video analy- analysis. Uh, Guy, guy from yeah. the uh, federation. He uh, he sent me a lot of stuff, so I'm trying to, uh, yeah, look at a couple of matches, uh, and that was the one I was looking at last night. Will you share some of the the things that you discovered here on the podcast? I just discovered or? that Li Shijia has an insane attack sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's for sure. Uh, but no, <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm gonna watch a bit more before I make any conclusions. Okay. Are, are you like doing anything extra to prepare well for all England or are you just treating it like a, any other tournament because like for <laughs> me this is actually a little bit extra I'm trying and also because I haven't had any tournaments for a while I've been trying to do a little bit extra because I have the extra time to yeah. prepare more I I I don't know I mean I think I just think about it a little bit more than 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 every other tournament not every other tournament but i just think about it the weeks prior to the to the event i already start to think about uh, my 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 matches and um the fact that we are going to all england and you know i just get this kind of uh, excited I'm, I'm i'm starting starting to get excited a little bit earlier than than for many of the other tournaments um i don't do much different i just i mean i train hard i try to be specific on on the things that i want to to have ready in my in my arsenal when i'm going to play at the old england because there is certain things that you need to to do very well um it's a different game compared to if you play in estora tenaya now in jakarta Mm. it is two very different kinds of uh, badminton um so of course i prepare a little bit more specific for that type of badminton mm. that we're going to play in that huge arena mm. in in Birmingham. But, but that that's that's basically it. Mm. I try to adapt to to the different circumstances that we're going to to face mm. at the All England. Yeah. What about the, you? The last time you played a match that was at the World Championships, right? Yeah, the World Championships in Spain. So you haven't December. played since you actually lost to Lokin Yu last time, and now you're gonna play him again in the in the next match. Um, yeah. I haven't played internationally, but I don't know if you have oh. tried your best to oh, to yeah. to forget that I, I won have, I won I the have. national championships oh, and I defeated true. you in yeah. the final. And it that's was always a, uh, already gone. Yeah, yeah already it's, gone. it's you I forget all my losses. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I actually, uh, I just forgot that. No, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't played internationally since uh, since that one. I didn't play the one in January in uh, India. Mm. Um, so yeah, only yeah. played the the national championship. Got free, f- do, good do, matches uh, there. Do you already think like a lot about what happened in that match? Like uh, I would think it's pretty useful that you played him last time, so you have it pretty fresh in your memory. Uh, so are you already like? planning stuff that you want to do differently 
compared to the one in I mean, uh, I, at the World I, Championships. I, I, I watched the World Championship semifinal back many times mm. before I knew that I was going to face Low again mm. in the yeah, here in in the first round at the All England. So that that match was um a tough one for me to swallow of course and and i went back and analyzed it a lot what could i have have done differently um and what what will i do next time i face low and, and stuff and of course i really want to get this revenge um mm. i really want to it, it was our first time playing against each other mm. and it was a great match i think um so it's it's going to be interesting to see if he ha- he has a different approach or maybe i have a little bit different approach um and we are a little bit more aware of each other's strength and mm. weaknesses not that there is a lot of weaknesses at at this level but yeah i'm 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 definitely looking forward to that match it's a little bit tough of course mm. people ask me about how do you feel about facing him in the first round that's of course a tough draw um i believe that he's going to get a, a seat Seating, seating, yeah, be a, yeah, seated. I think he's uh, he's not, going to be a seated player quite soon. Yeah, I, would, I, he, I, I saw he's nine in the world right now. Okay, so right yeah. now he's the first unseated player mm. there is, and yeah, okay. obviously defending world champion. Yeah. So it is probably on paper the worst possible draw you could get. Yeah, on yeah. paper. Um, there was an article uh, at TV TV two at Danish uh, the Danish um broadcaster mm. of of Bamson here. Yeah, uh, here in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. Danish broadcast. Yeah, you get it, yeah. guys. Um, and they said something like a terrible, um, terrible draw for Antonsen. Mm. And I was just about to, I was just about to to comment on the Facebook, uh, mm. on the Facebook page, um, uh, just correcting them. No, no, terrible draw for Loki and you. Of course. In, in, instead. Of course. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I like to test myself against the best players in the world. Mm. I've think it's extremely interesting and it's fun that i'm going to play play it back against him mm. since it was my last match at, at the world championship i'm pretty sure it's also probably the most anticipated match in the first round of all england i'll be pretty surprised if you guys are not on the tv court yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah. you never know <laughs> then we don't play that's yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no it's going to be interesting and yeah. i'm not the only one here in the couch who has a a tough draw you are uh, have a, a very tough draw as well yeah yeah and uh yeah i was also mentioned in that article you just n- mentioned on tv too and okay. like everyone that seen the draw and, and they like said to me that it's unlucky and stuff but like honestly i didn't feel that bad when i saw the draw uh, obviously i would prefer to play a weaker player but <laughs> i really really like to play momota uh, okay. i know i have a bad head to head against him but i think if you look at the like obviously he's a much better player than i am in general uh, and i think if you look at how big the difference usually is between us i'm actually playing pretty tight with him almost every time i play him uh, so I think there is something in his game compared to some of the other top players, like for example Victor or even you, that suits me a little bit better uh, mm. with Momota. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm just I'm really excited to get the chance to play him again. I haven't played him since uh, the French Open 2019, where I was two points away from beating him. I had 19-16 in the second game and had won the first. You should you should have won that match. I should have. He was so tired. Uh, he already he already showed it the day before against Sue Bang that he was tired and lost the day after as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, I should have gotten that one. Um, and the same year in German Open, I also lost to him in three games. So. I think it's always good matches and I enjoy playing against him. Uh, so obviously it's better to play him in the second round, but as I'm unseated, I have to play a seated player in the first yeah. or the second round. So I didn't feel so bad about it, actually. I just feel excited. Uh, okay. And yeah, All England is my favorite tournament. So I think it's it's just amazing to get the chance to play one of the best players in the you world. Have, you have been in the semifinal? I've once. been in the semifinal once, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's not the tournament I've played my best in. Uh, like... It actually took me seven years just to make the main draw. It did? Wow. I lost seven times in a row in the qualifying. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it How is, many it times is. have you been playing the All England? Yeah, but it's, I think it's the first international tournament I ever played that was the All England. Because wow. back in the days when I started as a senior player, it was a, I think, 64 draw in the main draw. 
and the qualifying draw was uh, I think 64 or 128 players 64 probably yeah so it was 128 players in total that wow. could get access so it wasn't that difficult to actually get into the uh, into the qualifying draw oh okay so yeah seven times I tried and seven times I uh, I lost and the first time I got into the main draw was simply because I had a high enough ranking to start in the main draw okay yeah so. You never came through qualification. I never managed to do that. How how so? How old were you the first time? I think I was eighteen. So 18? I was still a junior. Yeah. Wow. I got this uh, award in uh, like the Sealand Badminton Federation. They every year they give this award called the Paul Erik Hoyer Award, which is given to the region's like most talented uh, junior who's gonna become a senior. Mm. And with that award, you always got. Uh, the flight tickets and hotels paid for for the All England, so you could go there and play. And that wouldn't happen today because you obviously the juniors can't get into the no. into the tournament. But that's why I went, and I actually played really well. Uh, won my first two matches and lost a qualifying final to a guy called Vitra Vibovo, which maybe some of the Indonesians uh, viewers will know. He moved to France. I lost 15-12, 15-1. Uh, and I remember it like it was yesterday, 15, 15 12, 15, 1. I was quite happy because I, I thought I, I played at a good level and he was a decent player. And then Steen Pedersen, the mm. guy uh, you guys probably know as a commentator now, he was the national team head coach. Mm. And he was doing like the uh, evaluation after the match with me. And uh, the, I just remember the first thing he said was, yeah, it was probably not the tournament winner you lost to here. <laughs> So like he he was not as happy as no, me no, no, like he, no. he didn't think that twelve and one was a pretty good score against the no. guy who was probably gonna lose the first round the next day but I was quite happy and uh, yeah he wasn't so that means that it's eighteen years since you had your All England debut yeah you are thirty six now thirty six now yeah. so it's half a lifetime yeah. since wow that's uh, eighteen years and only one semi final. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to look at it yeah. I would say it's it's quite impressive that you have been playing it so many times and I actually think the only time I missed All England in those 18 years is two years ago when my ranking was uh, just outside top 32 mm. I was first on the reserves list okay. uh, but didn't get in traveled there didn't get in and cash up who is actually my friend but because of what he did there he's a little bit of less of a good friend <laughs> he played three rallies in his first round match and then pulled out yeah so he, he could have <laughs> given uh, the spot to you instead he could have yeah. but he didn't oh. so cash up i'm coming for you <laughs> no get, get on the podcast here cash up and and, and explain <laughs> what happened there that, that would be great we also need to get some 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 Indians on the podcast. Yeah, they uh, uh, there's a few fans out there who has been requesting that. Mm. So um, yeah, we'll try to get that done. Yeah, but um, who would you prefer? Oh, there's a lot. There yeah. there's a lot of good uh, good players and very popular players from you India. You already interviewed uh, Srikanth. Yeah, once, I right? did. I did. I I had um, a few years ago. I I was experimenting with this. Mm -hmm podcast interview type type thing and i only did one episode of i think we called it the aa show yeah and i <laughs> i interviewed trickend he was a uh, he was in denmark for yeah short period of time <laughs> training with us and and then we did a short short interview just like 15 minutes or something like that it was it was good he's a great guy i, I yeah, think we is. can get a uh, get access to him again um yeah, yeah. But well, also well, some well, some of the female players like yeah. like Sindhu is extremely popular. Um, Saina, she's still playing a little. She yeah, so she's playing German Open. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's playing so, Ratchanak today, I think. Yeah, and then the I I remember that yeah. like the Srikant when he was in Denmark for training was something about it. he he was training in a T-shirt that said I love pizza. Yeah, 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 I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. legendary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, ne never seen before. I think he got quite quite a lot of comments on on that T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's right. Yeah. Um, we have some we have some questions, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But before we go to that, because uh, you just mentioned that I played one semifinal, you also made like two. Right? <clears throat> you made the semifinals two years in a row, because because we uh, yeah we need to come up. Uh, I 
I thought it would be a good idea if we both came up with our like our best All England memory as a player. And for me, it is for sure that semi final. Um, but yeah, for for you, is it also those two? Because I know last year, <laughs> uh, two years ago, was that the one where you had to pull out? Two years ago, I was playing the semi final against Cho Chin Chin, and I twisted oh, my yeah. angle in the first game. I think the score was fourteen sixteen. I was down fourteen sixteen mm. and twisted my angle. So uh, yeah, that was. My first All England semi final, a big event. Um, I think it was that year where COVID like started and Denmark sh- uh, shut down. That was a weird experience. Mm. Um, and yeah, that was both a good experience, ended in 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 not really a good way. But next year again, I was in the semi final, um, lost to Victor mm. in the semi final. But that that as mentioned earlier, I think that was one of the. <clears throat> One of the, the best matches that I played last year. Mm. Um, the intensity, the the nerves going into um, the level, both of us, I think both of us, uh, I don't know if Victor will agree, but both of us, in my opinion, played a good game. <clears throat> so, yeah. I also felt like as a spectator, it was a match that was amazing to watch because it was like momentum was shifting all the time. Mm. Uh, also, especially in the third game, like I felt... Was it around the interval at 11? I felt like if just one or two more points had gone your way. In the third. In the third, yeah. It would have been difficult for him to catch up. But like it was <clears throat> such small margins uh, in, the, in that third I mean, game. basically, we were just winning on the on the side where we were playing against the drift mm. and losing on the other side. Yeah. So I won the first game playing against the drift. Mm. He won the second game playing against the drift. And then... I was leading in mm. the first half of the s- third game playing against the drift and he was finishing up over there mm. and then catching up with me and then ended up ended up winning the third so Do you remember who won the toss in the start of the match? No, no. I actually don't. So you don't know if you you actually picked a uh, chose to start on the better side. No, I What, I, what I do actually you prefer actually? If you win the toss, would you usually start on the side uh, where you play against the drift? I actually don't really. I mean, there there has been specific matches where I've, where I've um, wandered aside over the other to start mm. off with, mm. but in general, I don't really care. Okay. I mean, yeah. my mindset is okay. If if I start on the good side, um, there is a, a chance that I get a good start here. Mm. But if I start on the other side, I also have that mindset. That says that I can only do something good here in the first mm. game. But if I lose it, I'm going to be on the good side in the next set, and then I can catch mm. up from there. So I don't really know. I I don't care so much about it. Actually, I often think that if I start on the more difficult side, uh, I think it's a small advantage for me because I feel like the start of matches is always a little bit more, um, like. It's uh what fanden hedder det? Nu er jeg mistet det fuldstændig. Eh, uh, tilfældigt. Random. Random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Random. <laughs> Sorry, I just completely uh, lost the plot. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the start of uh, of the games are always a little bit more random. Uh, yeah. So I feel like if you're on the more difficult side, you yeah, you have a, a like a slightly better chance in the start of uh, of matches before yeah. people get into the rhythm and groove uh, and kind of. So that that's usually my thinking. But makes sense. Yeah, there's also other matches where I feel like, especially if I play against someone who I see as being a better player than myself, then I would prefer to start on the good side to get a good start. Because mm. if they get the better start, they will feel comfortable quickly, and then it will be difficult for me. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. There's but also I mean, certain players is really good at playing in certain mm. conditions and stuff. So you'll have to to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's your best memory. That's the th- a semi-final. The, the thing that was very fun about that match was also that I just beat it Victor a few months prior oh, yeah, in yeah. Thailand. And that <laughs> match caused a lot of hype, uh, a lot of controversy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Be- because of the fact that I, I I dropped that second game in Thailand. Yeah. And I think people were speculating whether I was going to do it again. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I played. I played. 
think it was the quarter final against uh, Kansa Suniyama from Japan mm. and um, I won the first game and then I lost the second but I didn't drop it like mm. 100% on purpose just drop it yeah. I was trying but realized at some point that okay this is going to be uphill mm. so I maybe let go a little bit and mm. then focused on the third game so that was the media in Denmark mm-hmm. said that that was I mean the same and something yeah. did it again yeah, yeah. and I, I remember they had like a debate in the studio yeah um, I remember they brought in the they on that day they had the the Camilla Rutterjul and Christina Pedersen mm. who was uh, I don't know if you remember guys uh, but a very very successful um, women's double pair from Denmark also in mixed double I mean very very successful uh, women um, they did very 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 well in their career the Olympic but, silver medalists yeah but they were like guests in the studio mm. that day mm. and they discussed it with the with the with the experts mm. and um, and stuff so so there was a there were a lot of speculating whether I was going to do it again against Victor. Mm. Just did, did you? Did I you did, did it. Yeah, you did, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. <laughs> I, and me and Ollie were, were, was watching it. I think we have it on tape, maybe also yeah. in one of the vlogs from, from there last year. Mm. But we were watching it. They had this debate whether yeah. it is um, like not sports, <laughs> sportsmanship uh, yeah. or... Yeah. And we were just laughing about it. We thought it was so funny. Um, for me, I, I I feel like it was obvious that I needed to do it against Victor at mm. that time mm. uh, in order to win the match. Yeah. And uh, this was kind of a similar situation. Yeah. The drift was making it way too difficult to yeah, win, yeah. win on that side, actually. Yeah. So um, it didn't really make made sense. Yeah. So I mean, there was a, a lot of uh, a lot of hype on that mm. match. People want to to know could I do it again and yeah. would I use the same strategy? And uh, I would say that you mentioned a few points more to me after the the, the change events in the third game mm. could have made a big difference. I don't know. He played really solid mm. fr- from there, but I had I ha- I had some I had some quite big chances. I think the rally just after, so at at eleven six just after we changed ends, mm. I had a like a kill opportunity on the net, mm. and he like, I don't know how he did it, but he got it cross court mm. somehow, and yeah. then I think that changed the momentum a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, it was it was a great match, a really really tough one. Mm. So yeah, it's in sharp contrast to the first time you played Victor in the All England. Yeah, that was my first All England. <laughs> yeah, Is that yeah. your worst memory? From all England. Yeah, it must be. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that or uh, that or the one where I twisted my ankle. Okay, um, yeah. No, I think my first All England. I, <laughs> how is it like five years ago now? Or yeah, it sounds about be, right. You're 24 now, so yeah, 19. It must be something 20. like that. Yeah, I got my ass kicked to Victor <laughs> in my first All England. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it was. <laughs> I just I remember I was watching it in the stadium with uh, with Jan actually our good friend because uh, we we went there and because it was. It was also quite a hyped match, actually, because you were like up and coming, and mm. uh, you were always uh, like telling everyone that you really believed in yourself and <laughs> stuff like that. So, like, it, there was a lot of hype for the match, and we just uh, we kind of expected that Victor was also gonna be really motivated to kind of just yeah. kill you, <laughs> and that is exactly what he did. So we, yeah. we enjoyed it from our uh, seats in the in the stadium, yeah, and I'm sure that's it was, great to hear. Yeah. I remember <laughs> I was a little bit surprised by by his approach because we were warming up together, mm. and it was all friendly, just like uh, we were joking around a yeah. little bit and having a good time <laughs> doing the warm up, and then from from zero love he just switched it into like a uh, demon mode <laughs> i mean he was just like like he is i mean yeah, shouting yeah. a lot and yeah. being very vocal and yeah. just like really high staring, and down. staring me down and stuff and i was like <laughs> what we were just good friends like yeah. so i think he he actually tricked me a little bit there yeah, i think yeah. there was a a smart choice um from his side yeah. then the next time we, we were facing each other was at the european championships okay Uh, the not one, not the one lo- in Culling? Not not in long after. Yeah, I that's five years ago. That's I, in 2017. I don't think it was uh, long after that. No, one that's where always I in. Kicked. Yeah, because all England is in March and the European Championships is in April. So that's like one month later, one and a half maybe. 
I feel that m- maybe it was okay. So that w- yeah. it's always in April the European Championships. So, so. next time I faced him, um, yeah. we wasn't really war- warming up together. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think he asked me, and I was like, "No, I'm just <laughs> going to warm up by myself." <laughs> and then I was coming out like, I mean, extremely, extremely hyped for the match, and just very vocal, shouting, just. Yeah, really spending a lot of energy on 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 that part of um, of of the mental side of the game, mm. and I ended up winning that match. Yeah, yeah. So I think I really really learned from from that experience, mm. walking into a match like being a little bit like, not starstruck, but in a way like um, yeah. not really coming out of my shell and mm. stuff, mm. Um, a little bit too respectful and yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I remember that European Championships because that's the one where Denmark didn't win in men's singles. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's my fault. Maybe it, it was Victor's fault. He should have just I, beat no. me in the semifinal. I actually feel like it's my fault. It could be your fault too. Because I played Rajiv Usef in the semifinal and I blew two match points. Yeah. So had I just won that one, it would have been Danish gold. An all Danish so, final yeah, and maybe right. a gold for me because yeah, I have a hard time believing that I would at, lose to you. And at in that the time, I I. I just beat you every time. <laughs> you were Fair still enough. you were still young. I um, think I think um one of my favorite all England moments mm-hmm. must be must be some of the Lee Chung Wei versus Lindan mm-hmm. finals. I think there was one I don't know the exact year, I think it was in two thousand eleven. Mm-hmm. I think they came out of this was it the World Championships where they came out of the bus? Or was it the the All England? Do you remember that one? Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably around that time because they used that bus for the Olympics as well in in twelve. So it's okay. probably been either the year before or the year after. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, same year. Yeah. So it's it's around that time. It just seemed like there were a lot of a lot of uh, people in the crowd and mm. yeah, insane atmosphere for yeah. those matches, and and also the speaker was really great at like hyping it up. So yeah, they yeah, had but the speaker is always great actually all, okay. at all England. I think yeah. like he's he's one of the better ones on tour. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. great tournament. I'm excited. Me too. I Me think too. we answered some of the listeners' questions there. Yeah, too. we did. We did for sure. We <clears> did for sure. Um, Let us know, yeah. guys, your favorite all England memory. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. But let's just uh, move on to uh, a couple. Of a couple of the uh, listener questions to finish off let's those. do it let's do it you we, pick pick the few yeah good pick ones. the few uh, obviously there were a lot of questions about our preparation our draws and yeah who do you think will win but obviously I think I will win and you think you will win yeah so that's easy to answer no no I think you will win okay then I think you will win okay great please focus and uh, put down your phone I'm, I'm checking the questions okay fair enough we had one very eager fan who asked maybe 15 or 20 questions. A guy from India. That's a lot. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kushakra Ja, perhaps. Uh, and he is asking very specifically, what have you been working on the most leading up to All England? So if you mm. had to kind of pick one thing. And please don't say like your physical condition again. <laughs> like that's the standard answer from you. Yeah, but I mean, in a period of time where we have so much time to practice, I think that's one of the the. I mean, a period of time with two, three months without tournaments really gives you an opportunity to to push your physical training. Boring. You don't yeah, have that yeah, much time in boring. between tournaments and stuff usually. Yeah. But I would I would say that 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 is one of the things that I've been working on a lot. But I've also been working on my badminton spills, skills just in general. Um, okay. And I nothing mean, very specific. Nah. Or you just don't want to give it away. Because mm. maybe Loki in you is what. Yeah, maybe he is. <laughs> yeah. We never know. I mean, no, just in just. I mean, badminton is so complex, and mm. at the absolute top, you need to be very good at almost everything. Mm. So. But there is um I think I always have like a, like a plan in my training with mm. something very detailed. It it could be the way I hit a certain stroke in a certain corner mm. that I just focus a little bit more on on, on in that day of training. Mm. So I think okay. I've I've been around it all to yeah. be honest. So yeah. So now you're the you. complete badminton player. I don't think so. I don't think you can ever be the no. complete badminton player when it as complex. Mm as it is um what about you 
Well, I think I've mainly been focusing on the front of the court, actually. That and then trying to be a little bit more explosive when I go to the back of the court. So not take it too kind of uh, just steady, but try and mm. yeah make these changes of, of pace a little mm. bit more. Uh, but that's not... <laughs> it's wrong to say that it's something I specifically focused on for All England because that is my main focus in training okay to focus on those two areas the, the front of the court because it's not the strongest area of my game and it is one of the most if not the most important part of men's singles in my opinion that front you, court yeah that i often think that it's the one that controls the front of the court that will be in the best positions to win the game of course there are exceptions but in in general uh, i get you yeah so you. that's always a, <clears throat> yeah, a focus uh, point for me and yeah, making these changes of pace to the back is uh, simply just because if I get a, just a little bit lazy and I don't do it, then uh, I can't hit any winners. Uh, like my attack becomes too predictable. So you will show up with a insane front court and insane attacks from. That would be nice. Line. That would be nice. But since I've been working on it for years and I haven't been insane yet, then uh, you're also facing it. an opponent that is really good on the front court. And has a really good defense, so yeah. I mean, you'll you'll have to up your your game, I would say. True. True. Interesting. I will. I will up it. I promise mm. you guys. Uh, next one. Is I saw one question. Yeah. About if, if I could give some advice on how to uh, deal with both education and badminton training at the yeah, same time. Yeah, you can't do that. And guys, I can't <laughs> because I do not have an education, so I'm not yeah. the right the right one to ask sorry about that you have an education in badminton yeah yeah that's it yeah <laughs> um there is one from uh, kiki cuckoo uh, interesting he, name he or she is asking if you'll wear a sleeveless shirt at the all england okay i don't know why no maybe she wants to see your maybe big maybe they, arm muscle yeah they, they want to see if i'm your serious gunship. about uh improving my physique <laughs> yeah, or not yeah. um I think I will actually. Okay. Yeah, oh, I think right. I will. I've I, I've considered it for for a little while. Maybe I should try something new. Try the sleeveless mm. shirts, and Victor has produced uh, some some beautiful shirts. Um, I have them both with sleeves and without. Um, I've been training a little bit in the sleeveless uh, mm. for the last week, and um, yeah, I think I might go for it. Have you tried the classic one that Gade and Taufik played in once with one sleeve off and no. one sleeve on? No, but I remember those. <laughs> uh, it was a, a, a kind of a weird shirt, uh, <laughs> was, in, in my was. opinion. <laughs> I, I think yeah. like every player needs a time in their career where they try out the, the sleeveless yeah. face. Yeah. Have you? Have you? I <laughs> actually haven't. I've never had a sponsor that produced sleeveless shirts for okay. me. Okay. And I, I don't think Forza has any in their collection. Then you have a, uh, an, you have a, an, an excuse. Yeah. Maybe I should just like kind of cut it off. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> no so yeah i won't uh, but then the next one is my favorite question and we actually kind of need oliver to be part of uh, the answer because okay. it's from harry wilson <laughs> who is asking uh, just 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 yeah. if, if if the if if there is any new uh viewers viewers um that that don't know when you say oliver oliver is the guy behind the camera mm. both in the podcast and in the vlogs, and he's sitting right over there in the corner right now. So he's just, a hero. Just to clarify, uh, but yeah, Harry Wilson is asking because he he's been uh, obviously he's been watching your vlogs for mm. uh, quite some time now. He's asking, will you try to film a vlog on the warm up courts again? Because the lady who told you off in the vlog will be there again, and her name is Jan. Okay. <laughs> so he's simply asking because he's also working in that area, so he's probably a volunteer. He's asking mm. if you will try to sneak in. With your camera to do some uh, some illegal footage. I don't know if we should reveal it if we are yeah. going to do it or not. Can oh, right. he help us? Oh, Harry, can you help? Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Harry, maybe, <laughs> maybe Harry can help us sneak in the camera yeah. uh, somehow. But Oliver is going to be there, right? For he's he's going to he's going with me to the All England. We are going to do um, going to do vlogs, um, maybe a podcast episode mm -hmm. if if we have the time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we have been looking into finding something that is more suitable for when we travel. So yeah. we don't have to bring these this huge these, ones, these heavy microphones. Yeah. So we we try to set up some with some small stuff. You can yeah. sit here and yeah. on the top of your shirt. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe yeah. maybe we can get a guest episode. 
that would be nice. Maybe that would be nice. Be maybe maybe it will be Harry. Harry, Harry and Jan. <laughs> if Harry can help us with, with sneaking in the camera, maybe you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should a, show yeah. the vlogs to Jan so she knows that it's nothing dangerous. Maybe Jan should come on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Jan, this is an open invitation yeah. to be part of the badminton yeah. experience. For some reason, they're always like so strict at the All England. Like they won't allow us to sit on certain seats and like even if the the entire stadium is is empty mm. you still have to be in the designated seats and they need to check your accreditation all the time and yeah. like even if you've been passed already mm. three places where you need to show it you still need to show it the fourth time as well yeah and of course rules are rules but it's just in many other tournaments they're not enforcing it as strictly if no. it's not necessary but yeah they always really uh, follow the rules in all England. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. Some rules are there to be broken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> no, I just, I mean, we are, when we do these vlogs, we, we are not disturbing anyone. We are mm. just recording me, basically. Mm. Of course, there can be some players in the background and stuff. Mm. But, I mean, I think people also sometimes, I mean, they like to, to be a part of the, the podcast and vlogs. Everyone that we, we have heard on have had a good time. So, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, I think we will record there, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Then I have, actually, you, I, I have, you, have you seen those yeah. videos on YouTube? This guy where he sneaks into different big events. No. And then he shows like the lead up to, to how he get into. And he has been sneaking into some big, big events, some big boxing matches. And oh, stuff. yeah. I actually think I I read about him in uh, at some football he, he's event. He's a YouTuber. It's yeah. A, it's uh, it's quite fun. I think there was one at a football stadium where he was hiding in a box for uh, like a full day or something. Okay. Uh, to yeah, get yeah, in. yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe we should invite him to sneak <laughs> into the All England. <laughs> yeah, I think it. Yeah. But I mean, it is quite difficult. Yeah, so, it is. I think it he is. can get it done. He has been doing some crazy yeah. stuff. If he can do it there, he can do it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he has faced harder challenges yeah, than probably, than the probably. Old I think I actually only have one question left that I noted down, and that is who are the other favorites to win? And here, I am i don't think they're specifically thinking men's singles, but who do you have as the winners in the other categories? If you have any idea, let's just do women's singles. And women's singles, everyone is there, I assume. Not Marin. No, She's still not, not there. Claudia Marin. Yeah, She's unfortunately. I think she was in the draw, but okay. yeah, she pulled out again. Still recovering from the knee injury. Um, yeah. But I think the Chinese is going to be there, and uh, okay. yeah, everyone. <sighs> I think it's a tough one. I'm, 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 I'm not really sure about their current state of, uh, yeah, how how their shape is mm. and stuff. But I don't think anyone else have no. No, I mean exactly. But Tai Su Ying is there. She's there. Um, An Se Young is there. Mm. Um, ah, that's your favorite. Ching your Yu. personal favorite. That's yeah, yeah, that, that's my favorite band to play. I've said it yeah. multiple times yeah. now. An Se Young is a. Uh, is she playing in Germany? She is, she yeah. Is, she yeah. just beat the uh, Dane, Lina Christoffersen yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay. And Ching Yufei from Ching China. Ching Yufei is there. And, yeah, I think... I, I think, think Okuhara is there Okuhara, as well. Okuhara, Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. Sindhu. Wow, it's... it's, uh, it's Rachanak. It's, yeah. Uh, that, that's... I'll, I'll just I'll just take a wild guess and say Tai Shu Ying. Okay. Then I'll go with Ching Yufei. That's a good one too. That's the fi <laughs> final from the Olympics. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Chen Yufei won that one. I I have she been playing a lot since the Olympics? No. Has any of the Chinese? No, no, no. of course. Yeah. No. No. I'm actually now in doubt if she's even playing the All England, but now I think she is because the Chinese women singles are at German Open. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyway, that was the last question I had. It's going to be an interesting year. I mean. Bampton is back and there's going to be so many tournaments played in the this year actually mm -hmm. I mean the summer is mm -hmm. packed with great events so it's going to be interesting to to cover we will be there all the time um, yeah. and we will bring all the content on our own YouTube on our own Instagram everywhere that's right and it's it's actually I mean it's a little bit like um, uncomfortable to launch a new channel mm. and start to upload videos there because we we some of the best episodes that we have done are from Indonesia we got like almost seven hundred thousand views yeah 
and I'm like, are we just going to get like hundred views, seven hundred views, five hundred yeah. <laughs> views, or what's going to happen here? So, please, guys, show some support on the new channel. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the videos, comment your feedback, questions, yeah, any comments to what we have been discussing here. Um, we want to hear it all, and uh, we really want to connect with the audience as much as possible. So, yeah. All that I just mentioned, go ahead and do that. That's Anything it. on your mind, let us know. Let us know. The Bamton Experience first episode on the new channel. Our Instagram is here. Done and dusted. It's going to be a great year for the for the for the Bamton Experience, I'm sure. Let's go guys. See you in the next See episode. You guys.